And now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Dickens. Well, today's not a complete washout. That's the good news. Satellite radar shows actually a little bit of clearing going on here along the Mississippi River Valley. Now, to the east of places like Princeton up to Sterling Rock Falls, you're continuing that cloud cover and some rain showers. But we'll see some sunshine today. And out to the west here, some more developing cloud cover and more developing showers. That's going to kind of be the name of the game today, along with some gusty winds. We take a look at the exact track wind gust, and as we head into the afternoon, We'll start seeing winds pick up from uh, 25 to 30, eventually 35 miles an hour. As we head into the overnight hours, it'll slow down a little bit, but then pick back up as we head into the day tomorrow. And this wind will start to get up to 35, maybe even 40 miles an hour. So breezy day expected tomorrow. Now, next 24 hours, we continue with those showers. But as we head into the nighttime hours, we'll start to see those clouds clear and the showers will clear as well. This weekend is going to be absolutely gorgeous. If you got weekend plans, guess what? I don't think you can get much better than this. It is going to be 70s and yes, even some 80s in the forecast with lots of sunshine, but of course, we have to pay for it, and that's going to be in the form of maybe some severe weather, something we're keeping a very close eye on for next week. We'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, take a look at exact track. By the time we get to the afternoon, we'll see some of that redevelopment, kind of what we're already seeing uh, to the west of the Quad Cities. We'll see some more storms pop off. It's going to be a scattered deal. You're not going to see a washout, so just take that umbrella with you if you're going to be heading out. Uh, certainly going to be one of those days where we're going to be dodging those showers. See some more activity overnight. Then as we head into the day tomorrow, things will start to clear out, and we'll have a lot of sunshine here. That leads right into our weekend with really sunny skies. Maybe a few passing clouds come Saturday. Temperatures tonight will be dropping into the 40s after we reach the mid-60s today. And as we get throughout the day tomorrow, we'll be in close to average. This time of year, 61 is our average high. So low 60s throughout. And then look at this. Once we get to Saturday, look at mid-70s. How about that? Even warmer temperatures once we get to Sunday. In fact, look at that. we got an 82 degree forecasted here on the board. Following that, though, we're going to continue with a couple warm days. Really keeping a close eye on Tuesday. We'll talk about that here next. But then on the back end of that, it does look like we'll cool down a little bit, maybe a little bit colder than average. Models really trending down here once we get towards the end of next week into the next weekend. Now, here's something to be concerned about, something that we're certainly watching. Uh, Storm Prediction Center put out an early outlook for potential for some severe weather. This needs to be watched very closely. I am a little concerned about some of the model data that we're looking at. This will change, I can guarantee it. Like we always say when we talk about these long range uh, type events, we're getting indications now. It's something to kind of keep on the front of your mind here as we head into next week, because we'll go through this weekend. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Severe weather won't even be on your mind. Once we get to Tuesday though, Tuesday though, we watch, this is the jet stream and you see that pink down there. That's some really strong upper level winds that'll be moving in. That is a disturbance that'll be moving in. With that, we've got some thunderstorm energy. We look at the winds aloft and it does look like we'll have a lot of shear going on. Just kind of a, a lot of ingredients, a lot of signals in place that this could be maybe a significant severe weather deal somewhere in the Midwest. Now, right now, it does look like we'll be in on that. So stay tuned. That's something to kind of keep on the forefront of your mind there. Tuesday will be a day to watch. Temperatures tonight dropping into the 40s once again. Showers will be off and on. Again, we're going to have a lot of dry hours, though, and even some sunshine. Breezy conditions tomorrow, but then that weekend forecast is amazing. 70s, then 80s, lots of sunshine, so any plans, you're in great shape. Then we'll watch uh, Tuesday. Tuesday's going to be a day that uh, we definitely need to keep a close eye on for the potential for strong to severe thunderstorms. We'll be on top of that all weekend long, and then 75 by the time we get to Wednesday. We are actually going to have to break out the sunscreen. How, How it? long has it been the pool. since that? It's, that's pool. 80, 80, 80s is pool weather. Right? I don't think the pools are open. <laughs> well, darn. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. Coming up, we have a guest.